Gemini, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you an optical subject. We're going to do my version of a Celtic cross. At the end, there will be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your third house. This could be for you. Uh, you know the drill. Thank you. However you support the channel, very much appreciate it. Cross watching. You are more than welcome. Message may well be for you. All the information is in the description box. Just hit the more button below. Gemini, what's going on? One more. What do we got? We have the moon. Okay. Not everything is as it seems. So we've got, obviously, the, the sun is in your seventh house right now. So the moon is going to be moving into your seventh house uh, at the kickstart of this month. This, obviously, I'm doing in November, but um, the reading's for December. 1st of December, for me anyway, I think for a lot of you, it's going to be the 30th. This is very early in the morning for me. Um, so there could be an emphasis on the seventh house relationships. Could be as we get into the middle of the month on the 15th, the full moon happens in your first house. So the last full moon was in your 12th, maybe you've been tired, maybe dreams have been quite intense. Um, and now it's about illumination of what needs to be seen. Crossing you. Root of the matter. Recent past. What you want. What's coming in. How you see yourself. How others see you. Advice. And potential outcome. Oh, nice. Okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. We have the star card. The star card at the bottom of the deck with death. There's Pluto in Aquarius. So something has shifted here um, since this transition. Obviously, Pluto now trines you. Um, especially in your, in your ninth house of spirituality, travel, growth. There's a significant shift here that life is trying to give you an opportunity for a 180 degree turn and you've been asked to go through the door. Um, but for some reason you're hesitant. And I don't know why. Fear. The moon is illusions, it's fear. Um but you've got some significant moment of joy that's going to allow you to look back and think to yourself, you know what, all that episode, whatever whatever it is that's been in your life, that's been uh, uh, keeping you maybe stuck, hesitant, trapped, mental anguish, mental gymnastics. Um, if, if all that episode hadn't have happened, you wouldn't be where you are in this point. For some of you, you might be saying, well, I'm still at that point. If you open yourself up here and let the universe give you an opportunity, there is a door that's opening that's going to let you leave behind the past for good. It feels like a magnificent moment is appearing for you. You just need to ex yeah. look back with gratitude even if it was dark, even if it was tough, even if it was challenging, look back with gratitude because life is about to get very, very good. <laughs> life is a funny way of working out. Um, it, you might look back and think, why the hell did I have to go through that to get to this point? Does it matter? I, I, and I, I say that I, having speaking to a collective here, individually you go, you'll have gone through it and you know, all stories are different. But when you see this point, you will genuinely say, does it matter? Because there's an opportunity here to really move away and turn your life 180 degrees. So we've got the moon, card 18, 
jumping well ahead your advice, the full CAD zero, 180 degrees. Energy and advice. Do it, let life turn around. Crossing you is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands in a crossing position is, there's very hot and cold energy here. There's this, if this is relationships, because like I said, you know, we're, we're moving into, um, into that season of the moon being in your first and seventh house, me versus we, those type of things. Um, so this could be an emphasis on relationships. For a lot of you, this is just about excitement, adventure, travel. Root of the matter is the Eight of Cups. The root of the matter is, you know, the Eight of Cups is all about letting go of what no longer serves to go in search for that Ninth Cup. Ace of Cups is the missing cup. Self-love, unconditional love, letting what no longer resonates leave, going in pursuit of that wish fulfillment. So the root of the matter is Saturn in Pisces. Saturn in Pisces is demanding that we remove rose-tinted glasses, see what it is that we want and, uh, and to go after it. Recent past, we've got the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is, in its traditional sense, is stuck in your head. It is a sense of, um, you know, overthinking, overanalyzing. It's also in the Toff deck, interference, divine interference. And sometimes divine can interfere in unexpected ways. It could look good, it could look bad, it look, could look indifferent. Life has a funny way of, uh, of working out. But it's also Jupiter and Gemini. So it's just telling us where we are. Jupiter is in Gemini, in your first house, really amping up self. Now, there is no coincidence, I've said this to you before, so I apologise if I'm repeating myself. There is no coincidences. Tarot is picked based on astrological concept as well as uh, imagery. Eight of Swords is Jupiter and Gemini. The Eight of Swords is mental anguish. Jupiter expands whatever it hits. So if you're in mental anguish, Jupiter will expand it. If you're in calmness, Jupiter will expand it. So there's just something about recognising the power of multiplication, which is interesting considering what's coming in. We'll, we'll step onto that in a second. Um, so where we are, we're, we're in that area. What you want is the Page of Swords. <clears throat> Now, the Page of Swords is a little bit of anger and resentment because he's looking over his shoulder, he's looking back at this Eight of Swords. I think you want to get out of your head in a certain matter, but it's difficult. You feel stuck, you feel trapped. There's an energy of resentment building under the surface that needs to be let go of. Page of Swords is also a card of exploration, you know, getting curiosity. What, where does life want to take me? What's coming in is the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is something is going to light up your life, whether this is a, a, a passionate encounter, the Ace of Wands can be a, a sexual card, it, whether it's just a creative idea, whether it's a, an ha aha moment, whatever it is, let it light a fuse. Let it light a fuse in you. Let it spark that creative venture. Let it spark something within you. The reason why I said it's quite, uh, it's quite especially with multiplication, so in the angel tarot, angel Omael is angel number 30, and he represents multiplication, the positive and negativity. I'll read just the sentence that it comes with. He's number 30, I'm sure. Yes, Omael. Ambition times jealousy equals conflict. Omael is the angel of multiplication and collectivity. It is linked to the materialization, development of projects and expansion on all levels. It helps us to transcend our blockages such as failure, poverty, superficial success, or greed. Omael teaches us that we can always choose to multiply the positive or the negative in our lives. Jupiter in Gemini for you guys. So, an opportunity to burn away those shackles, an opportunity to stimulate some sort of passion within you. How you see yourself is the High Priestess. You, it's like you intuitively know something is lighting up. The High Priestess is nudging you, knowing that you need to do something. What you need to do is open up, because how others see you is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is the sun in Capricorn. So the universe is showing, others see you shining a light on the devil. Maybe you highlight people's shadows, but it's just something about that blocked energy. He's holding that pentacle really tight to his chest to the point of suffocation. There's something about relaxing here. Relax into the flow of life. Your advice is the full, take a chance. Go after what you want. There's a perfect opportunity here to do something and go after it. 
in your outcome, we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is Venus in Aries, the Empress meets the Emperor. We have the Ace of Pentacles, where it's a door that's opening, but it needs to be pulled wide open. And then the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is Mercury in Aquarius, the Magician meets the Star card. You, Six of Swords is called, it's, it's a transition, it's moving away from the Five of Swords, anger, resentment, bitterness. And interestingly, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Star card, so the Magician is creating this hope, this dream, this wish. We have three eights here, 17 being an eight. Every time I see eight eight, so eight of swords, eight of cups, I, I get taken to a bunch of uh, readings that I did a couple of years ago. And then I look at the major arcana and I look at the astrological concepts of them. Now we've got two incidences of, of Cancer and Pisces here. Cancer's was um, a, a celebrations, but not everything is as it seems. Um, Pisces was something to do with um, maybe a narcissistic energy. Uranus and you know both cards of Aquarius here. Aquarius was a, a twin flame communication, so there could be something along those lines. Mirrored souls don't get caught up in the actual um, terminology. This could be just something that's high level connection. Something is about to come in and change your life. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. It's gonna. It's got the capability of changing your life at one hundred and eighty degrees, but you've got to be open to receive. For some of you, you're closed off, and I don't know why. Could be something to do with your aura. 404 gives me like a um, a need to strengthen the aura in some format. So let's check out where the uh, magician is because the, you've manifested this change, but it requires you to meet the uh, meet the universe halfway. Reminds me of that joke. Um, um, the God had promised the guy to win the lottery. Every day, it's like, God, why haven't I won? You know, still, every day, not winning, not winning, not winning, not winning. And he, until he shouts out, why? You said I was winning. To which the God replied, well, at least buy a ticket. So there's something about meeting the universe halfway here. And it's something to do with this blocked energy. So we'll check out the sun and the devil as well. Okay. Oh, wow. Magician is with the Lovers and the Seven of Cups. There's, there is somebody in your environment that's very powerful with you. Um, Magician and the Lovers is a, is a strong, undeniable connection. The Seven of Cups is giving me kind of leaky, sh leaky chakras or like, you know, like seven deadly sins type of thing. There's something about cleansing, cleansing of the chakras. The devil is with the Ace of Cups and the Hermit. Okay, the devil and the Hermit gives me cancelled plans. So if anything's cancelled, there's actually a benefit in some format. Something allows you to, um, put it this way, any, any sort of, anything cancelled or blocked or moved around is actually a blessing. So don't hold on tight to anything. It could even be an idea of what something should look like. Let that go. Let the universe do its thing here. And the sun is with the nine of cups, which is your wish fulfillment and the page of cups. This is a moment of joy coming, Gemini. Are you prepared to receive? Because at the moment, there's something that's hot and cold about this energy that can't come in during the fluctuations. So this is a maintainer, maintainer of a certain frequency. Um, so wherever you feel blocked, especially in your chakras, you know, it could, you could do a, a, a test with a, a pendulum or something like that, or something sort of dousing um, um, divination. Find where your block is, because something's blocking. When that releases, boom, you move very, very quickly away from whatever is stopping this, this transformational energy. I just want to quickly look where the five of swords is. See what you're moving away from. Oh, 
Well, the Ace of Swords is Queen of Pentacles and Justice. Okay, the Five of Swords is with the Six of Cups and Page of Wands. I think you. I think what you're going to do, whatever the clarity is, whatever the aha moment is, whatever the opportunity is to burn away, is some sort of resentment to the past, some sort of anger to the past, some sort of... Um, um, how do I want to say it? I don't know. I'm hearing something, I just can't remember what number it is. <clears throat> is it 29? Release, yeah, 29. Releasing anger and resentment. Thoughts of hatred and separation suck the energies that you need for growth. Much energy is required on your part to nourish and sustain them. Some people appear in your life to reflect your negative thoughts and sometimes it is done through conflicts, quarrels and hostility. At this time, it seems that hatred and anger towards a certain person, group of people or situation take control of your life. True love is like the sun. It shines on everyone indiscriminately and does not ask for anything in return. When love is ignored and resentment replaces it, spiritual contamination and imbalance take place. Self-hatred, negative feelings such as fear, and even tragedies and natural disasters quickly occupy the space from which love was gone. Is it really worth it? At this point, you cannot do much to change the situation. New paths will be offered to you by someone close that will open your eyes and help to clear the atmosphere. Soon you will learn that your hatred and anger were in vain. There's, there's going to be like this moment of joy where everything is just going to be like, you know what, whatever that was. It doesn't have to be anger. It doesn't have to be those type of things. But whatever that was that's kept you stuck in this ruminating energy is, is, is so much going to be worthwhile when you see the results of it or where it's moved you to. Fantastic. In your extended, let's look at this open door. We'll set the energy of this... Uh, We'll take the energy of the outcome. What we know, what we don't know. Recent past advice and potential outcome. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if it resonates. We have Cancer Pisces. We have Saturn in Pisces. Jupiter in Gemini. Cancer Pisces. Sun in Capricorn. Aquarius. Venus in Aries. Mercury in Aquarius. Aquarius. Scorpio. Mars in Pisces. Mars in Gemini. Jupiter in Libra. Moon in Taurus. Capricorn, Mars in Scorpio. We have swords, we have wands, we have pentacles, we have cups. Everyone's here, those of you stand up, let me know. Take care, see you soon. Bye.